<laughs> 16 seconds. Very cool. All right, yeah. thank you guys for being so patient and waiting for us to catch up here. All righty, so welcome to our Disney Store Story Time. Thank you so much for joining us today to share the magic of storytelling on our first annual Disney Reads Day. So today is Disney Reads Day. That's why we're reading stories all day. How fun is that? Cool. Cool? Yeah. All right. So who likes Star Wars? Sweet. You've come to the right place. Yeah. We're going to be reading the story of A New Hope. What episode is that? Do you guys know? Oh, yeah. Which four. one? The, uh, yeah. the fourth. Fourth, yes, that's right. Good job, Brock. All right, are we ready to start our story? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, here we go. There was a period of civil war. Rebel spaceships fighting for freedom have won their first victory against the evil Galactic Empire. During the battle, Rebel spies managed to steal secret design plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star, an armored space station with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the Empire's agents, Princess Leia of Alderaan raced home aboard her Rebel starship, carrying the plans that could save her people. All right. Is this like the scroll text thing in the beginning? Here we go! Suddenly, a laser blast rocks Princess Leia's starship. Inside, two droids, C-3PO and R2-D2, tried to steady themselves. The starship began to shake, straining against an invinci uh, invincible force. It was caught in the tractor beam of the Imperial Star Destroyer and was being pulled into the docking bay. Okay. So, to turn the page, I think we're all going to have to use the Force. Do you think we can use the Force to turn the page? Yeah. Okay, so if you don't know how to use the Force, you're going to stick your hand out like this, aim it at the book, and we're going to use the Force, and we're going to turn the page together, okay? On the count of three. And we're all going to say use the Force, okay? One, two, three. Use, use the, the force. force. Come on, use the Force. Woo! Good job. Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh. In a burst of flame, oh, no. the hatch to the Rebel Starship was open, and Imperial Stormtroopers oh, poured in, firing in every direction. The Rebel soldiers were quickly overtaken. A massive black cloaked figure stepped through the charred doorway. Who knows who this is? Darth Vader! Darth Vader! The Go pure on. Darth Vader! <laughs> oh no! Are we ready to turn the page now? Yes? Yeah. Alright, get me for one, two, three! Yeah. Use the horse! <laughs> Good job. In another part of the ship, C-3PO followed R2-D2 as he entered an escape pod. The pod turned from the ship and headed for Tatooine, the planet below! Let's take get our force ready! One, two, three! Oh, Use the horse! The horse. <laughs> Within moments, Princess Leia was captured and brought before the Dark Lord. Darth Vader, only you could be so bold. Don't act so surprised, Your Highness. You weren't on any mercy mission this time. Several transmissions were being to the ship by Rebel Five. I want to know what happened to the plans they sent you. 
I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. Uh oh. Let's find out what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, yes. Rebels. <laughs> you guys are awesome at this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. On the desert planet of Tatooine, C-3PO and R2-D2's escape pod had landed and were captured by the Jawas, a group of little hooded creatures. Scavengers by nature, the Jawas claimed the droids as their own and sold them to Owen Mars, a moisture farmer and a guardian of Luke Skywalker. Luke, take these two over the garage, will you? I want you to have both of these cleaned up before dinner. Who are they, who are they cleaning up there? R2. Yeah. Yep. All right. Ready? Get your force out. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Use the force. Woo! As C-3PO was lowered into an oil bath, Luke began to clean the little R2 unit. Soon, Luke learned that the droids knew of the rebellion against the Empire. Excited by this link, Luke turned back to R2-D2 and discovered an object in his head rotation joint. Well, my little friend, you've got something jammed in here real good. Were you on a star cruiser or a... <gasps> there was a flash of light! And suddenly, R2-D2 began projecting a holographic image of who? Princess Leia! Princess Leia! Yes. Yeah. Into the center of the room! And what did she say? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi! You're my only hope! Yeah! Luke sat there dazzled. Who is she? She's beautiful! Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh <God. laughs> Alright, let's use our force! Ready? One, two, three! Use the force, Luke! Oh, let's try that again! Use, use the, the force! force. Luke. There we go. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> the stubborn R2-D2 droid would only play the full message to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, I don't know anybody named Obi-Wan, but old Ben Kenobi lives out beyond the dune sea. Fearing that the droids may have been stolen, Luke sent off to deliver them to Ben Kenobi, along with a secret message. All right, we got to get the message, guys. Ready? One, two, three. You got and played him the message from R2-D2. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him within this struggle against the Empire. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of his R2 unit. You must see the droid safely deliver him to Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only, only hope. hope. once a Jedi Knight, just like your father. My father was a Jedi? Yes. And this was his lightsaber. Ben handed Luke the sword. He wanted you to have it when you were old enough. You should learn the ways of the Force if you're to come with me to Alderaan. I can't leave here. I'll take you as far as my anchor head. Uh-oh. Here he goes. Ready? One, two, three! Yes. Yes. <laughs> On their way to Anchorhead, they came across the Jawa Sandcrawler, destroyed by the Imperial troops. If they traded the robots here, they may have learned who, sold, who they sold them to, and what would lead them back home. When Luke arrived in the farm, he was devastated to find that all he had ever known destroyed and smoldering. Sadly, he had returned to bed. I want to come with you to Alderaan. There's nothing here for me now. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi, just like my father. Yeah! Yeah, yeah for Jedi. All right. Ready? Read the Force. One, two, three. Use, Use the, the Force! force. <laughs> ben and Luke needed a ship and a pilot to take them there. At Mos Eisley Cantina, Ben took Luke around and made some introductions. 
Oh, who do you think they're meeting? On Solo and Chewbacca! <laughs> Chewbacca here is the first mate on the ship that might suit us. The tall Wookiee led them to a table off into the corner where they met a rough looking star pilot. And you guys are right, Han Solo. <laughs> I'm the captain of the Millennium Falcon. You guys got yourself a ship. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Docking Bay 94. All right. The Millennium Falcon took off, racing toward Alderaan. At the moment it came out of the hyperspace, it was suddenly pelted with debris. Alderaan had been destroyed by the Death Star. The only thing that seemingly intact was a small moon nearby. Suddenly, the ship shook, shook violently. Han grabbed the controls. The Millennium Falcon had been caught in a tractor beam and was being pulled into the Death Star. Uh oh, where are we going, guys? The Death Star! Who's on the Death Star? Darth Vader! Oh my gosh! Alright, come on, Jedi, let's turn the page. Ready? One, two, three! No! Good job. Aboard the Death Star, Ben set off to deactivate the tractor beam, while R2 plugged into a computer and discovered that Princess Leia was aboard. Luke persuaded Han and Chewbacca to help him rescue her. They knocked out some guards, took their uniforms, and disguised themselves as stormtroopers escorting their prisoner Chewbacca. But so who's in here? Oh, yeah. They're hiding. They're pretending to be the stormtroopers. Yep. <laughs> Alright, are you ready to change the page? One, two, three! Yeah. Use the force! Alright. Once inside the detention block, they located the itself. She was startled as her door opened and an unusual stormtrooper entered. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. I've got your R2 unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. <gasps> they found her! Awesome! Alright, get my force ready. One, two, three! Yes! exploding around them. The Imperial troops had our heroes completely covered. The princess grabbed Luke's blaster and ripped open a hole in the wall. Into the garbage chute, fly, fly boy! One by one, they all dove into the hole, landing safely in a huge garbage bin. Uh-oh. You think it smelled really nice in there? No! Oh. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Here's your page. One, two, three. Use the ball! Without warning, the walls began to close in on them. They landed in a trash compactor. Uh oh. Like, Luke suddenly remembered the droids. He contacted them on his comlink and instructed R2 to shut down all the garbage smashers. Everyone escaped with barely a scratch. Thank goodness they didn't get smushed, right? Uh uh. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? One, two, three! Yeah! I love this story. All right, let's continue, okay? All right. Meanwhile, Ben had deactivated the tractor beam. Stealthily, the old Jedi made his way back through the hallways to the Falcon, when suddenly he felt the presence of who? Darth Vader. Vader. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. Mm -hmm. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now, I am the master. On went his lightsaber. A battle began between the Dark Lord and Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh my gosh! Ready? Are we ready? One, two, three! Use the force! But when the old Jedi saw Luke, a serene look came over him. He stopped fighting. He closed his eyes and raised his sword to his face. Vader swept his lightsaber through Obi-Wan's cloak, but suddenly, he was gone! Only his robes and a crumpled key remained! Luke was horrified! No! The stormtroopers spun around and opened
rapid fire. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Leia and the droids race to the ship as Han, Chewbacca, and Luke fired back. Oh no, what happened to Obi Wan? Alrighty, let's find out, guys. Ready? One, two, three. the Millennium Falcon shot out of the docking bay, and they arrived at the Rebellion's headquarters with a death with the Death Star plan. Oh, they got it. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Use the Force! But Darth Vader had placed a homing beacon aboard the Millennium Falcon, and the Imperial Death Star was approaching using the secret plan the rebels launched their ship and headed straight for the Death Star. All right, think we're gonna succeed? Find out. One, two, three. Use yeah. the Force! They zoomed across the surface of the space station as enemy laser cannons fired back. It soon became obvious that the Imperial troops had to fight the rebels ship to ship. Waves of TIE fighters screamed out of the Darth Death Star and attacked. Even Darth Vader himself manned a fighter. Oh my gosh, the battle has begun! Ready? One, two, three! Use the The music's getting more intense. That means we're going after battle now, right? <laughs> the Empire is gaining ground. One rebel pilot had failed to hit the weak spot of the space station. Now it was up to Luke, but Vader was right on the field. The force is strong with this one. As Vader was about to fire, a laser bolt ripped uh, past him and his wingman. The explosion sent Vader's ship spinning into space. Yahoo! You're clear, kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. It was Han! Yay! He heard Ben's voice. Use the force, Luke. Luke fired two proton uh, torpedoes at the Death Star. It was a direct hit. The rebel ships raced into hyperspace just as the space station exploded into a tremendous flash. Awesome! All right, ready? One, two, three. Use the force. Good job. With the destruction of the Death Star, the Rebels had won one of their great victories over the Empire. Hundreds of Rebel troops gathered together in honor, to honor Han Solo and Luke Skywalker for their heroic deeds during the battle. Princess Leia awarded the two men with medals of valor as the crowd cheered their triumph. Likes all around, baby. Yeah. Some, some thumbs up. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on Reef Day. I have some cool stuff. So, since it is Reef Day, I have some bookmarks for everybody. Yeah, all right. And I have I need some just a few little activity sheets if you guys want cool. to see. So, everyone's going to get both. So, let's get our bookmark here. So, we need that bookmark. What's it say? In theaters, BFG? What's that stand for? Oh, the big friendly giant. Big, oh, yeah, that's right. I yeah, see by Roald that. Donald. Uh, by Roald Donald. You know, I used to love him. I read, I read all oh, his books. Okay. From Matilda to the witches. Mm. Okay.